So haste today. I can't take any good photos. The visibility has been so poor these days. It may be caused by air pollutants or water vapor. What's the difference? It's just fog. The one caused by air pollutants or photochemical smog is called haze, while the one caused by water vapor is fog. It is easy to mix them up, as the sky looks misty in both cases. How can we tell them apart? We have to check the air quality health index (AQHI). If the relative humidity is high and the AQHI and air pollutant concentration are low, it's fog. It's haze or photochemical smog. If the relative humidity is low and the AQHI and air pollutant concentration are high, what is photochemical smog? I have never heard of it. Let's ask the expert. Photochemical smog is a secondary pollution formed in the atmosphere from other air pollutants, including volatile organic compounds and nitrogen oxides. Volatile organic compounds (VOCs) can be found in a variety of products, such as paints, printing ink, solvents, consumer products, adhesives, and sealants. Burning fossil fuels will produce particulate matter, nitrogen oxides. VOCs and other pollutants. VOCs and nitrogen oxides will undergo a series of complex photochemical reactions under sunlight, producing various secondary pollutants, including ozone and fine suspended particulates. The accumulation of these pollutants will become smog. The fine suspended particulates in the atmosphere will scatter the sunlight and hence reduce the visibility. It is mostly in the afternoons under strong sunlight and light rain conditions. The photochemical smoke just makes the sky haze. It's not a big deal. Of course, it is a big deal. It may irritate your eyes, nose, and throat. It may even worsen the health of those with heart diseases or respiratory problems. Is there any solution? In order to address this problem. We have to reduce the emissions of VOCs and nitrogen oxides. The EPD has enacted regulations on the VOC contents of paints, printing ink, consumer products, adhesives, and sealants. In daily life, we should also minimize the use of VOC-containing products and fossil fuels. For example, we can use fewer solvents, drive less, as well as reduce energy consumption. It's easy. Let's make a small change to our daily life and help eliminate the photochemical smoke. Sure. <laughs>